Oh, it, oh, it has the consistency of a dog tree. That's what I think fish food would taste like. Oh, I can see the bones. I think I'm gonna throw up. What did I get myself into? We are going to be taste testing Japanese snacks. What is up, everyone? It's your boy, Hawaiian Shirt Joe. I've had some Japanese snacks, like Haki is one I've had before. But aside from that, I don't really have a ton of experience with, you know, Japanese snack foods. I don't know what I'm going to be tasting today. Speaking of things from Japan, I am also drinking currently, drinking a bit of, uh, what is this, soju? No, sake. I always get them confused. It doesn't say on the bottle, or it probably does, but it's in Japanese. 13% <laughs> alcohol? What the hell? That's... That does not taste like 13%. Holy cow. It is super smooth. Almost has like a, a consistency like alcohol. Or no, not the, the consistency of, it is alcohol. The consistency of vodka, but it's really easy to drink, so. All right, Sarah. Are we ready for these snacks? Testing, testing. We grab this candy. It's candy, eh? This Japanese candy yeah. is a yogurt drink flavor. Fun fact about this candy, they are really known for their commercials. Um, they're called the Long Long Man commercials and they've won major film awards. Yes. <laughs> right there, I know I've seen that drink before, but I've never seen it in candy form. Stringy gummy. <laughs> Stringy yogurt gummy. Mmm, so delicious. It almost looks like Laffy Taffy in there a little bit, but it's in nice little neat little packaging. Oh, it looks like Hubba Bubba. <laughs> oh, they're like string cheese. That's literally Big League Chew. I'm not shitting you. That's exactly what Big League Chew tastes like. I love Big League Chew. And this is letting me fulfill my childhood desire of swallowing it. It doesn't taste like yogurt but it does taste very sweet. You can definitely tell there's probably a bit of sugar in here. Only two grams of sugar. That's not bad. For how sweet that is, that is really good. I think if I had to rate this out of 10, I, this is something I would definitely get. It's not too sweet. It's a little bit like starchy. That's what I like about it. Kind of like a mochi texture, I think. I think out of 10, I would probably start this off at like a seven. A seven feels like a good place to be. I feel like this probably isn't the best I'm gonna get, but it's also not bad. This next one is one of Japan's most popular sweets. These crispy pies are made of 64 layers of pastry, which is mighty impressive for those tiny little chocolate pies. The name translates roughly to fruit of the pie tree. Fruit of the pie tree. They look really nice. This one says chocolate pie, so I feel like this one's fruit of the chocolate tree. But personally, I feel like I would like the chocolate pie more than I would like a fruit pie. Maybe not more than I would like a cream pie, though. I do love a good cream pie. I mean, it looks a little bit nicer than what you get out of like, you know, an Oreo wrapper container. Oh, whoa, these look like mini like honey biscuits. They look like nice and toasted honey biscuits. And you said it was 64 layers in here. It doesn't look like there'd be 64 layers in that puppy. You know, you can taste the 64 layers in that one, but then the chocolate follows up behind it with the sweet. Mm. Oh, oh, those are addicting. I could eat this entire tray right now. Is that hint of chocolate at the end? Oh, that's so good. Like a 7.9. It's not all the way to an eight, but I would definitely prefer it over the stringy candy, the yogurt candy. Like if you mix the croissant with like a Chips Ahoy cookie. All right, cheers everybody to tasty Japanese snack food. Uh, ooh, that shot tasted like I'm going to be sweating here in five minutes. <laughs> next snack. <laughs> the next one is a Oh, a drink. drink. A little drink. So this one, I don't have a ton of information on. I'm not going to lie. I bought it because of the cats. Got those. Oh, so that was the end of the explanation. <laughs> Yeah, I know nothing of it. Okay, okay, so we got random blue cat drink. <laughs> we don't know if it's made from cats or if cats are the ones who made it. You know, maybe they have a factory in Japan where it's just a bunch of cats making drinks. What store did we get these from, Sarah? Was it Kmart? All of these are from a local Japanese store. I wanna say Asahi, A-S-A-H-I imports here in Austin, Texas. Go support them. I looked up their Instagram. They're very, they're small. Hmm. I think I could really get used to that. It's like a soda. It's not too sweet. It's light, it's refreshing, but like 
I don't think this would hit the same way a Coke would or like, you know, anything like that. I'm only going to give this one a six because I don't think I would reach for this uh, in a store. But if someone gave it to me, like I wouldn't mind drinking it, you know, whisk it away. <laughs> <laughs> little biscuit, little nugget in a biscuit. God, last time I took this shot, like 30 seconds ago, it tasted like straight rubbing alcohol. I can lie to you. Cheer. <laughs> Next. All right. So this next candy here, Joe. This hard candy is called Cola Chun, and it says it sports the nostalgic cola flavor that we all know and love. All right, let's tear this puppy open. I like the packaging, and I am a fan of Coke flavored things. I think they're in the shape of little bottles as well. Ooh, yeah. There we go. What the? These are not in the shape of bottles. They're balls. Balls, I tell you, just little balls. Sorry, <laughs> being too loud. This is balderdash. And you gotta open another package after you get in the package. Okay, this is a lot of work for a little ball. It's a lollipop. It's literally a dum-dum without the stick. That's exactly what it is. I mean, it tastes delicious, but it's literally just a dum-dum. I think I'm only gonna rate it like a five. I don't see myself buying these again. I'm not a fan of dum-dums like that, but it's just a little inconvenient. So 5.5. Next. This is, I'm gonna mispronounce this, I'm sorry. This is Latte Topo Chocolate. The description roughly translates to bittersweet adult taste. Oh. They have many flavors, but this is their double chocolate. It looks like Pocky right off the bat. Maybe a more like mature version of Pocky, you know what I'm saying? It's got this nice, fancy looking packaging. I like it, I like it. This feels very mature, you know, like maybe something you'd have like on a date or something, you know, you put the stick into your partner's mouth and then you put yours in the other end and then you no 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 no. Oh yeah, that's basically what it is. Mm. It literally tastes like the pop tart that's like double chocolate fudge or whatever it is, like hot fudge or whatever. Mm. It's very good. I will destroy these with a glass of milk i think i would give those an eight i feel like those are worthy of an eight but just worthy enough for an eight. Oh man the alcohol's hitting me mm, sarah what's next okay next we have another kind of an unknown product at least to me we can presume it's made out of a fruit medley and if you look at the very bottom there on the bottle, look what that guy's doing to it. Oh, he's shaking so it vigorously. Okay, shake it vigorously. I'm vigorously. <laughs> That's literally what he's doing. I'm just following the uh, directions. I got some friends that drink that stuff. Well, maybe not after this, they won't. <laughs> so I'm assuming it is going to be like a fruit medley. It does say soft drink. Sangria mixed fruit juice. Yeah. I don't think the shaking worked. That's not it. I don't know. Not for me, at least. I mean, it's not bad, but it's like, I don't know. That just kind of tastes like something you drink, like maybe if you're sick and like, you know, you want to feel like you're getting some vitamin C in. But I don't know. That's just not for me. I would probably give that like a four and a half. I don't think I would go for that. Next. Oh, these are fluffy wheat cakes. Um, and they have a sweet red bean paste for its center. They look delicious. Yeah, I've seen clips of people eating these from like street markets, like fresh. I'm so excited. It looks really nice, very simple. And it looks like basically like pancakes in there. Wow, these do, they literally look like very thick pancakes. It looks amazing. I'm so excited. Oh, it's so soft too. Wow, this feels almost like an Oh, like an oatmeal cream pie or something like, oh. Oh, that is delicious. That literally tastes like pancakes. I didn't get any bean paste in that first bite. I was right at the precipice of the bean, but I will go in for more. Oh, mm. that is scrum diddlyumptious. Oh, that is a treat that is hard to beat. That is good. I think I think I would give that one like a 9.6. I don't think anything is probably going to beat that. I would be surprised, but that was extremely delicious. This is the Doraemon chocolate, which features Doraemon, the earless blue robot cat, one of Japan's most loved mascots. 
Sorry, I'm making a thumbnail face. <laughs> when I was a child in the streets of Japan. Sarah I grew up in the streets of Japan. She would steal her food. She made friends with animals who she communicated with. They formed a little posse, a little gang. And when she was on the mean street, you would have these. I was just going to say, I remember this mascot fondly. <laughs> That's all I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bluey. It was bluey before bluey, bluey. These look like malt balls. It says like chocolate, and then I think they're malt balls. Give them a try. I love me some malted balls. These look, <laughs> this looks like American cereal. It literally looks like uh, Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. Eat them up, eat them up, eat them up, eat them up. <laughs> they literally do taste like American cereal. It tastes like Cocoa Pebbles. Not bad, but I'm not a fan of Cocoa Pebbles personally. I would give that one like a 7.3. I feel like it's a good place for that one. This next snack. Oh, okay, Lil Milky. This. this is a very popular um, snack within Japan and features the lovable Peko-chan character. It has a creamy, milky flavor. So Joe, this is uh, right up your alley. I love milk. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, let's give it a try. I'm excited to see what's in it. All right. Oh, it looks like a white, like almost like a mint, but more like taffy, but hard. Imagine finding out after that this was like breast milk or something. Mm. That would not change my opinion at all. <laughs> not bad. It's literally just kind of like a mix between taffy and a jawbreaker. I'm not really impressed. I would probably give that one a five point four like i feel like I, there is probably no circumstance where i would go and buy that in the store i'm sorry to say you just can't beat regular milky you know Ugh. these are bite-sized chocolate cookies featuring light crunchy biscuits that are topped with chocolate and cream i believe this is white chocolate it features a charming character coco gyro Choco Jago or is Jiro? this guy's name. Jiro? I think it's Jiro. Choco Jiro. I don't know, but this art looks a little bit sus it's if I'm being sus. 100%. I'm not lie. It, it is a little it bit took sus. Me back in the store. Oh, that's why Sarah grabbed it. She's like, no. oh? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> it's got a monkey in the middle and it looks like like a sour candy or something or like Whoa, it's got a little cracker in the back, too. What the hell? <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's so weird. Oh, wow. OK, Choco Jago. OK, I've seen you came to play. It tastes like strawberry ice cream or strawberry chocolate, I would say. But a little cracker. Mm, I'm not going to lie to you. That's pretty tasty. Not something I think I would necessarily go for but i would give that like like a 6.9 like right below a seven but almost there almost there maybe it could grow on me a little just bit just to clear this up mm -hmm. after you said it wrong 70 times during that it's choco hero Choco jago oh my god <laughs> all right next Yes. Uh, hey, Joey. Oh no. Okay. This snack's description roughly translates to a delicious bean confectionery with the flavor and aroma of squid. Mmm, the flavor and aroma of squid. That's the two best places that you can have squid and food. I'm not phased by this, and you know why? Because when I eventually go to Japan, I'm going to be very adventurous. And I think I would be willing to try squid in the form of takoyaki, which is fried squid balls. And so I feel like fried dough that tastes like squid is going to be light work. I was right. Light work. I'm glad to know that's what squid tastes like. It's like tasting well, squid, but not like in a safer version. It's like a baby step towards eating actual squid. Ooh, they smell kind of fishy. <laughs> Let's get Sarah's reaction to the smell. Ooh. <laughs> I would give those like a four. They're not bad, um, but I'm definitely not going for squid bites. If, you know, I'm looking for a little snacky poo. Snack is an extremely traditional snack in Japan. Extremely traditional. These are fried horse mackerel. So this is what you meant by being adventurous. The packaging along that red rectangle there says yeah. 
please enjoy as is. Bones and all. Bones and all. Wow. Holy shit. What did I get myself into? All right. Oh. You said these are dried mackerel? They're dried horse mackerel. Horse mackerel. Did say you were willing to be adventurous? Oh, these do not look tasty. Oh, I can see the bones. <laughs> Are you going head first or tail? I'm first? going inside Hit first. Inside. Yeah, I'm going the side because that looks really it scary. It smells like fish bait. Oh, it oh it has the consistency of a dog treat. Oh, that's what I think fish food would taste like. Oh, ugh. I was going to second bite. More tough than crunchy. Skin it was like the consistency of leather. Are you are you feeling the texture of the little bone? I think so. <laughs> oh my god, my fingers smell so fishy now. Oh, oh, oh. oh. God, I'm going to have to give that one like a one. I don't think you could get much worse for a snack than that. I Maybe a zero. I don't know if there's anything oh, worse than that. God, I think I'm going to throw up. Oh. Okay, okay, Joey. Okay, I knew that one was going to be a little rough. So this last snack item meant to wash down. Oh, a little treat. So this is a soft baked pastry with a chocolate inside. Again, featuring the mascot. Um, Draymond. Draymond Green? No, Draymond. Draymond Green? Is this Draymond <laughs> Green? <laughs> uh, let me tear into his rear end. Little cat. Little gato. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a big, thick donut. You know, that's that's pretty nice. Okay, hold on. I gotta take a bite of it. Here, I'm gonna pick the cherry out because I love cherries. Hmm. Good maraschino cherry. Oh, but eat my little donut. Oh. <laughs> it's a little bready. Whoa. <laughs> Let me try it with the chocolate. Come on. Oh. Mmm. Oh. Oh. Oh, that is chocolatey. Woohoo. Ooh, that is a chocolate rush. I'll give it to you. That does make it a lot better. Still not something I think I would go for every time, though. It just it feels very decadent. You know, it feels like I would be in a sugar coma. So I would probably give that like a 6.5. You know, it's 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 good, but it's like not something I personally would probably go for very often. Wash down that sweet Ooh, little tree. Strawberry I have some milk. milk. Strawberry milk or strilk. Strilk. <laughs> And it's milk in a can. I don't think I've ever had milk in a can. Oh. Oh. Oh, I love Strilk. Oh my God, that is exquisite. Oh, baby, that is good. I think I would give that one a 9.5. Yeah, I would definitely drink that for a snack. So I think my highest score overall were the bean paste pancakes puppies here and then number two going to stroke like if you want to see us do like uh fucking you know korean snacks or british snacks or you know i'm down i if there's one thing i can do it's put food in my mouth hole i can do that very well that's one of my top 10 skills i would say